Okay, hi everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Stefan Rundle, and we are here to talk about uh, uh, JSON validation with JSON schema. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll learn something useful uh, along the way. This is an introductory, introductory talk. Um, so, uh, just a few words about myself. I'm the co-founder of uh, Arexo Consulting, which is a Belgian company focusing on uh, providing service uh, around software uh, development, enterprise architecture integration, and uh, uh, things like this. We are based in, in uh, Brussels, and uh, uh, a shameless plug, we are recruiting, currently recruiting. So uh, uh, you can uh, uh, look at the website and uh, uh, email me or uh, uh, look me up on Twitter if you want. Um, so uh, I'm not going to uh, insult you uh, with uh, a reminder about uh, JSON. Who is not using JSON uh, or has not used JSON on, on uh, uh, projects here? So just a, a, a small minority, okay. Um, so of course JSON now is uh, ubiquitous. It's very present, especially since the uh, arise of Web.20 uh, mobile apps, the fact that it's uh, uh, understood uh, natively in, in, in web browser helps uh, uh, a lot. Um, it's also typically uh, uh, used as the data exchange format for uh, uh, RESTful architectures. Uh, sometimes the JSON can even be uh, derived automatically from uh, uh, your object uh, model, from uh, your Java uh, objects and basically what uh, in the, the, the when it is being used uh, with a rest interface or in other ways it can form it can be part of the uh, interface uh, between your client and your server so uh, how implicit or explicit uh, uh, the, the, the interface uh, maybe that's uh, something you will need to uh, 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 to, to, to consider and, and how uh, important it can be for your, for your case. So if it is part of the interface, then all questions about stability and backward compatibility of, of uh, interface will, will uh, arise and you will need to, to, to consider uh, uh, this in your, in your architecture. So um, what uh, can we do here to get some, some help uh, to uh, uh, get this, this stability uh, or this backward compat compatibility? And of course, we have a uh, JSON schema that can, that can help us. JSON schema represents the structure of a JSON uh, document, okay? Uh, much like uh, XML schema, uh, does already for XML documents, okay? Whoops, please don't run away. Okay, I mentioned XML and especially XML schema. Uh, these are a different beast, right, uh, than JSON schema because JSON schema is uh, much in the spirit of JSON. It's keeping the lightweight aspects of, of JSON that we have all uh, 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 come to love and uh, can be one of the reasons uh, why JSON is being selected uh, instead of XML as part of uh, 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 the data exchange uh, format. So what is, um, this is really a basic introduction about JSON schema. So JSON schema is, uh, well, a JSON document itself. So it is uh, kind of eating its own uh, dog food, all right, not going through the uh, uh, um, uh, sloppy, uh, uh, sorry, the, 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 the uh, wet slope of uh, uh, XML and, and the first uh, uh, version of, of DTDs, for instance, which were uh, a different uh, grammar. Here you can use the same tool that you're using for, to process JSON. You can use them to uh, uh, process JSON schema. Uh, what JSON schema does is it helps to uh, specify, to define uh, uh, a few set of, of things that uh, is part of your uh, 
normally well-formed and valid JSON document. So what are these things? Right, there are the properties that you will find in your JSON document. You can, for each property, you can express its type. So JSON itself is very uh, limited. It is a, a, a typed uh, a notation, but it is very limited in the type it, it uh, uh, provides. So you have basically uh, date time, right, uh, expressed as ISO 8601. You have string and you have uh, numbers. Though you get uh, uh, another set of more uh, complex type or composed type, these are the uh, 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 object, uh, the array, okay, the, or the, the, uh, the list that can contain uh, basic uh, properties. What you can do with uh, JSON schema is that you can um, specify whether each property is going to be uh, required or uh, optional, right? And then you can also add other uh, simple constraints like what will be uh, uh, the allowed value, like working with an enumeration, uh, listing a list of countries for uh, uh, for instance, you have only a, a fixed set of, of country that you can validate uh, against or also providing maximum length, uh, minimum length, uh, maximum number of elements in the, uh, uh, in the list and, and things like this, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. So what does JSON schema look like? This is an uh, example, right? Um, this uh, describes an address, okay? And what you will see, so the, the, the first thing that is uh, uh, striking is that this is, as I said, a JSON uh, document, right? And then there are a few uh, uh, keywords or reserved uh, uh, key names like description, like type, like properties, and uh, dependencies that are going to help you structure your uh, your JSON document so that it is actually a schema. So well, it's quite, uh, uh, I believe, obvious what these things are. This represents an address object which has a set of uh, properties like post office box, the extended address, the street address, the locality, and so on. And for each, um, you have a set of uh, values, right, or a list of, of values that uh, express the type of the property, so most of these are uh, string, and whether they are uh, required or, or not. And then, as I said, you can add uh, uh, extra uh, constraints on the size and, and, and so on, okay? I won't go too much into the details, but what is uh, uh, two things to, to, to notice about this is that you don't necessarily have, uh, uh, or it was not common in the beginning of XML schema at least, to have a kind of uh, a common repository of, uh, of schemas, and that's what uh, is trying to be done with, with JSON schema, uh, meaning that it is uh, uh, trying to address a standard way of representing an, an address, okay? Um, and so this is actually from the JSON, uh, uh, org, uh, JSON schema org uh, uh, website, and they have similar schema for calendars, uh, for uh, contacts, and, and, and so on, okay? And the dependencies uh, uh, section there is where you can relate or link to another schema and so make, define uh, 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 complex properties and uh, 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 kind of inheriting uh, uh, them, so to, so to speak. Okay, uh, JSON schema is also a draft standard uh, published at the IETF, okay, it has not uh, 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 changed much recently, but it is in its version uh, three, okay, and it's waiting for one day maybe to become uh, uh, approved, okay. Oops. So, quickly, why should I use JSON uh, schema? Well, maybe to validate uh, my data. This is a common uh, use case. I can write uh, uh, a JSON schema, I can write the, the, the parser, and then it will do uh, part of the validation uh, uh, the syntactic validation, the, 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 uh, uh, according to what has been defined in the, in, the, in the schema. That's one use case. Another use case would be to help in providing documentation about what your interface is, right? So if you're using a RESTful architecture, you are uh, 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 
using the the, the uh, inheriting the the rest uh, principles to document your interface but nothing is said about the payload itself and the payload can be JSON and so JSON schema can help into documenting this uh, this payload another one is that it can help you having a schema you can do you can automate some things you can for instance generate a, a, a user interface uh, uh, code in HTML or, or, or whatever, or, or the code. Um, we have personally, uh, on a project that was working on, generated the documentation out of a JSON schema, what are the required properties and so on in a bit more nicer format than what JSON schema is. Okay, so why not use uh, JSON schema? Well, like everything in life, it's a compromise, right? You have to uh, think about if it's uh, worth, uh, worthwhile in your case to uh, a schema needs to, to be maintained, right? A schema is an additional validation step that will take uh, uh, some, uh, uh, that will provide some overhead in terms of performance, whether it is important for you or not, then you have to take this into, uh, into account, okay? So, to account, okay? So, uh, here's Okay, can everybody read this properly? So this is uh, uh, really a, a few lines of, of uh, uh, code, okay, that will help you to uh, validate, okay, the, the, the uh, JSON document use, using, using, sorry, uh, a JSON uh, schema, okay? And what we are uh, uh, doing here is that this is the JSON uh, validation library that I'm using, okay? This is from the <coughs> JSON schema validator. You'll find the link that is on, on a project that is uh, on GitHub that is itself using uh, Jackson, okay? And you basically pass it, uh, uh, you instantiate it with the, 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 the schema, the root node of the schema, and then you uh, uh, call the validate uh, method on it, passing it the actual JSON document to validate, okay? And then you get a report, and then you can query the, the report if it has some um, error, validation errors or not uh, as this, okay? So here's a, a, a unit test uh, I wrote, then that you can check um, whether the uh, document is valid uh, or not, okay? Uh, keep in mind that the uh, validation, uh, the schema validation is a second step that will run after uh, the, the, the Jackson uh, processing, whereas if your uh, JSON is, uh, document is not respecting the JSON uh, um, syntax, okay, then it, it won't even get uh, uh, reported, uh, 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 an exception will be, will be thrown that the, the document is, is uh, not proper uh, JSON, okay? So we can uh, run uh, this test and see, um, yep, the three unit test and what do they do? Okay, the first one will uh, try to pass uh, a JSON uh, document to see if it's valid. The second one will check, uh, it's expecting an invalid response. And the, the third one is simulating a, a problem in the, in the uh, JSON document. So let's look at the invalid one, for instance. I'm here reporting uh, uh, one error, right? And you can see that I have a message that says header version instances of type integer. Uh, which is not allowed, okay? So this, what is the, we are here. This is my JSON document, okay? I'm using a value as integer, and uh, it should be uh, a string, like the, in this correct uh, example, and as uh, mentioned by the, uh, by the schema itself, because we see here, so header property, header version, sorry, uh, should be a string and it is uh, required. Okay, so very simple. Okay, so very simple to validate your um, your document uh, uh, using this this library. Why this library? Uh, because it's still being uh, uh, evolving every every day. It's actively maintained and it's following the the specification of the. Uh, uh, of the JSON schema up to version uh, three and upcoming uh, draft version four, 
and uh, uh, it's free, it's on, on uh, GitHub. I'm not the maintainer, I'm just a happy user. And it's uh, uh, implemented using uh, Jackson. So thank you for attending the, the uh, session. Uh, if there are any uh, questions, I'll be happy to answer them as uh, Sorry? So your question is, uh, are reference being resolved kind of automatically uh, 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 by the, the, the JSON parser? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know the answer, sorry. Uh, I've not used those uh, 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 features of, of uh, uh, JSON schema uh, myself. We, uh, remain in a simple uh, use case where we didn't have these dependencies. Uh, hmm. Another question? Okay, thanks everybody. <laughs>